Malaykum, hope everyone had a wonderful, wonderful week and a Purim Sameach to everyone. Parshas Tzav, and we'll try and connect it a little bit to Purim, but there's a very, very famous and beautiful, beautiful Nitziv on this week's Parsha. We have the Karban Toda, and Chazal tell us that the Karban Toda was an enormous Karban. It was a behemoth, it was an animal, and it had accompanied with it was 40 loaves. 40 loaves, 30 of which were matzah, and 10 were chametz, and it had a very, very accelerated eating schedule. It had to be, it was a carbon shlamim that had to be eaten. Most shlamim you get two days. This had to be eaten by the next morning. And after the next morning, it would be no sar. So it's enormous carbon. How are you going to go ahead and eat it so quickly, this carbon toda, this Thanksgiving offering? So the Nitziv explains very beautifully that when it comes to a carbon toda, something happened. Something dramatic happened. Your life got saved. You crossed a dangerous desert, a sea illness, jail, so you have to bring a carbon, you have to bring a, a birchas hagomel, you have to bring a thanksgiving offering, but it's not enough just to thank Hashem. You have to tell over your story, and therefore the carbon is built in a very unique fashion, that it's big, it's enormous, and you have to eat it very quickly, which means you have to invite all of your family members, you have to invite all your friends, and they're going to say, hey, why are you bring this carbon? Why the carbon toad? And you're gonna say, you know what happened to me? And you're gonna be misaper the nes, pirsume nisa. Yes, that's exactly what we do with the carbon toad. And perhaps, perhaps that is exactly the idea of a sudas purim. Our sudas purim, which we don't just have a husband and wife together. We open it up. We go ahead and we have mikra megillah as part of sudas purim. Not part of the suda, but connected, because it's all part of a carbon toda. It's all a thanksgiving offering. We don't have a base hamikdash today. Purim was a chag that happened in Golis. So we make our shulchan, the mizbeach, shulchan dome the mizbeach, and we bring our carbon toda, our thanksgiving offering. Yes, the Gemara tells us we don't say halal on Purim, but kriyasa zuhi halayla. The megillah is the halal. And even though we're in Golis, and we can't, we can't bring karbanos, Shulchan Dom Alam is bad. That's our carbon, and we are Mefar Sim the Neis. Like Hudim Hoysa Oro Vesimcha Vesasim Vikar. We tell over the story of Megillas Esther in our carbon toda. We do this all the time. This is probably also what happens at our Seder, is that we bring a carbon Pesach. Today, no carbon, but a Seder. Again, Pirsume Nisa with Saper Hanes. That's this unique and special carbon toda that we have, but it ties into so many other aspects of our. Jews like to eat of our pseudos that we have at various occasions because it's not just about the food, it's not just voluminous meals, but the meals are supposed to trigger a sense of hakaras hatov, of toda, of hagomel. Thank Hashem for the goodness that He does. Bayamim Ahem, Basman Have a wonderful Purim and a beautiful Shabbos.